first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. 23-yard line. First and ten, here's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Three yards the game there, second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. The throw from Breeze into the hands of Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 13. It's a first down. At the 46-yard line. Again, it's Breeze. Turnover, here's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw again, Murray. Left side, Williams. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I think it's okay that they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Murray now to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. On the return, Harris. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
We're seeing quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. Seven yards, the pick up there. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And two. Here's Kamara, try to run for it. And this will wind up as Saints first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll throw with Breeze. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 36. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. This is complete to Michael Thomas. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Three yards the gain there, second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. 11 yards there, first down. One of the selling points at the end route is he gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. On first down, Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Ready? 
So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Breeze again. And it is caught at the seven yard line. And he's gonna be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards, now it's third and five. Brings up third and five. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. That is caught at the seven-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And Lutz puts this one through. The Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. Three. That will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. What did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. could set him back. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Now a draw play with Drake. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Demario Davis there on the stop. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Murray again. This is Drake. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. Murray on the option. He'll give it to Drake. And he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. He was brought down. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Four yards. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Dancing to his left. He'll try and run it. Six oh, yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. The tackle. A gain of six yards, and it's third down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Saints three, Cardinals nothing. 
catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun now for Murray. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first down, Drake. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And his throw is incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Running, it's Drake. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. From the gun, Murray. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. From here, this would have been a 48-yarder, but no, they're going to go for it. They'll run. It's Drake. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. A gain of 12. And the Cardinal, first down. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Murray, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray with a touchdown throw to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Makes the score Cardinals 7, Saints 3. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. On the return, Deontay Harris. 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. And yeah, not out now, Joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. We'll call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Throwing on second down. Breeze gets this one to Hill. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Got a man. He finds Sanders. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. situation for him as I see it but the truth of the matter is that ball was not streaking towards him that little arc on it he's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football he throws and he hits the slam route to Thomas and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 this duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back with excellent gains, and really it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run it with Kamara, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A one-yard touchdown run from Alvin Kamara. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. And his kick is good. Makes the score Saints 10, Cardinals 7.
touchdown wants to kick it off. On the return, Andy Isabella. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> so he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 30 on second down, Murray Fitzgerald on the slant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six -yard and a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. On second down, it's Drake. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. He was brought down. When you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. From the gun, Murray being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And finally out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On third and short, not only did he get away from the rush and pick up a first down, he picked up a whole lot more than that. And how did he get it done? Evaded the rush, kept his poise. And then how about him directing traffic as he moved downfield to pick up extra blockers? A really nice run. Murray now on first down. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Touchdown from 10 yards out. And the Cardinals have once again taken the lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. The Saints again ready to go on offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. 
get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. one of the best ever in these situations as he's trying to get his guys set. Breeze here finding Kamara, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Breeze to throw again. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Breeze gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throwing now is Breeze. Pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The football going back over to Arizona now. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways. But right now, you got to like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They're starting to put some space here. You know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They've jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of cantering around a little bit, right? Trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. 
but somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's second and a yard. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Murray. Open man is Cantrell. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Now this will make it into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone. Touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Zane Gonzalez. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The putter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor putter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That catch good for five, it's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
on the ground. This is Kamara. And he will have the first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Kamara. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. First down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 45-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Breeze. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Now this one complete on the slant route. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, a 22. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Again, it's Breeze. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Drew Brees to Michael Thomas. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom, indeed. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. On the return, Isabella. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Drake will start the drive on the ground, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. To throw on second and six. Murray, Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Sliding out of the pocket. 
I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. They'll run on first down. It's Drake. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Right back to Drake. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Brings up. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the... Now Drake loses the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Kenyon Drake. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team. Defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. To throw on second and six. Murray, throw right side, complete to Williams. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Second and goal from the one. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kenyon Drake, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Makes the score Cardinals 28, Saints 16.
Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And 10 at their own 27-yard line. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there the moment the ball gets to the receiver, and he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Emmanuel Sanders. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Bree's going to throw. there back-to-back -back incompletions receivers blanketed on both attempts this time on third down here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans Six yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Cards will take over first and ten. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. 16. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 14. Shotgun now for Murray. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Cameron Jordan providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So a change of possession here on the punt. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. That one complete to Hill. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 
First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now Breeze finding Kamara. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 49-yard line. To throw is Breeze. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Marie's now on first down. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. 32-yard line. Now, Breeze again. This throw is going to be incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The Saints on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third down and 12. But again, they'll throw with Breeze. Sack, he's still down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. So out now come the Cardinals. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll pass there over the middle to start things out. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. First down there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forcing the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Murray again, second and ten. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Drake. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Again, they'll throw with Murray. On the move to his left. Murray has it stripped. on the play, recovered by the offense. Here's 
Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. A throw left side to start to drive is complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. On first and 10, here's Breeze. Gets this one to Hill. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Four receivers now in the formation. Three to the left, one to the right on second and seven. From the gun, it's Breeze. right there and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone well, we know he has confidence he'll throw it any place anytime anywhere that time it fell incomplete the Saints on third down they're at 50 percent four for eight this is third and seven Breeze to throw again and he finds Cook and he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46 First it goes as a gain of eight, it moves the chains. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take him the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside to break it inside. Really well run route. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 21. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. All the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. Wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback in yeah. the NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah, well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior tennis champion. Beat Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors. I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback he is now. Ten more there and another first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, but it'll be second down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Now Breeze on third down. To the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Defense is going to get the football back. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 11. He starts by handing this off to Drake. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. It was P.J. Williams that time on the tackle. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. The throw over the middle taken in. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He's across Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Fitzgerald holding it in for Murray. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Larry Fitzgerald. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 42-yard line. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Running from the shotgun with Drake. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. A four-yard pickup on the play. First down, Cardinals. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run with Drake. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Drake. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, here's Zane Gonzalez for the Cardinal field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. 
Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Drew Brees in the offense, down by 15. Just over a minute, 40 to play. They need two touchdowns and at least one two-point conversion mixed in there as well. First down, Breeze. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Jordan Phillips. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Should take it on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. And this is intercepted. And 10 at the 24 yard Down to a knee. Here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. If you know about the carport, the trap door is supposed to be awkward. If you know, you know. That's the reason we go for. Circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. Down to Anigos Murray, as that will just about wrap this thing up. Tonight's final so it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From New Orleans, good night, everybody.